see the 3D printer? What do you mean you don't see? That's the 3D printer. So gently put it in. You got it. We have just finished the very first print. So we're gonna go to set up, turn off the motor, and now we can move this. This is pretty big. It's gonna big. be big. I think it's bigger than the library one maybe. Do you think so? Yep it is. So the distance from here to here, we want the same as it was here. We're going to slide that forward. Okay. So we are opening up the Indy Cubic printer. Is it so easy to use that even a child can do it? Ooh. I can see the 3D printer. What do you mean you don't see? That's the 3D printer. 3D printer. What is it supposed to look like? The 3D printer is never that small. Well, how big is the one you have at school? You mean at well, the public library? Well, how big is it at the public library? Bigger than that. That's because you put up this together. I told you we have to put this together. It says caution, hot surface during operation. Yeah, we got, well, no, 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 leave that for me. Hold this. What's this? I don't know. Put that on the, on down. Yeah. All right. Anything else in here? Nope. Okay, take this out, and let's use this as the base. Put that down. Put it down here. Is this how big it is? Because this looks pretty tall. Yeah, that's pretty tall. That's pretty tall. So show me how big yours is in the library. About this longer, and this is and this is how long it is over here. So is this taller or shorter? But ours is definitely taller than this. So we got a plug. Do you want a chest under here? That's right. Sometimes it's more fun when we play chess. So this has to be plugged in. So let's take this off. I can figure this out. This is, easy. Come on. This is for kids. So we got a pool of. Is this what you guys make 3D models off in the library? Yeah. Do you have the color or is it just white? We have color white. Let's see what this is. I think that one has color white. Blue. Woo! So we got blue and white schools. This can print things up to 12 inches tall. How tall are you? Oh, even bigger than that. So this looks pretty easy to see. So we can make an Alex. Can we? Let me see. <laughs> yeah, we, we, could we, we can make a face. We can make your head. Yeah, that's how much you can all need. Okay. Oh. Alex, how do you do this? You said you had experience. Yeah, SD but card. I need instruction manual. Packing list, a pair of gloves, USB cable, extra hot end, tweezers, a spool holder, scraper, pliers, SD card reader, SD card, screws, tool kit. Unpack and take out the printer and accessories. Can you take everything out and put it right here? And pliers. This, this is pretty big. It's gonna big. be big. I think it's bigger than the library one maybe. Do you think so? Yep, it is. See? No, but this is only taller than what the library this? one. So what did you make at the library? I didn't do it yet. Number one, take the frame and the base. Wear gloves because the smooth rods and lead screw may be greased. What does, what does that mean? That means that if we touch these screws, then we're going to get sticky stuff on our hands. Trying to loosen it up for me. Take these screws and we gotta put them on the side here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you be there. Careful of that. Is it heavy enough? Are you good? You are going to slide that forward and I'm gonna lift it. Okay? Go ahead. It'd be so much easier if you went to the library. <laughs> 
not yet. So gently put it in. You got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now get the green. Press it in. There. And then the red one. Here, you know how to do the red wow, one. Wow, look at you. There you go. Next, select the correct voltage mode according to your local voltage ratings. 110 or 220. The switch is inside the bottom left of the base. Sound, 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 sound. Uncle Martin. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually going to take four hours to print the whole thing. Four hours? Yeah. Where'd you get that number? But we heard about that. Next, assemble this pool holder. This is easy. You want to? You can do this on your own, right? Okay, we're sending the printer back. Look at that, we printed a boy. Are you a real boy? Yes! Stop! No, he's made out of plastic. We printed a little boy. Yes. You're a real boy. No! Stop! <laughs> All right, finish it off. Perfect. Look at that. You're a rock star. Next, we're gonna take this and we're just gonna stick this ball right here. This is so the filament just kind of moves with it. And now we're gonna feed the filament through here on the spool. Yeah, it's very strong. How much do you weigh? A lot. About 50 pounds. All right, let's turn it on, Alex. What? On home, click tools. Oh, Alex. Like Alex! Alex, it's doing something. What? I don't know. It's doing something. Is it printing? No, it's setting up right now. <gasps> on step four, it's telling you to put a piece of paper on the print platform and then manually move the print head and platform back and forth. Let the print head travel to the four corners and center one by one, two, three, four, five. So here's your paper and then your nozzle is here. <laughs> so right now you can see that the paper is actually got the perfect amount of drag. We are right now in the move axis tool. You can get here from the main setup by going to tools and axis. And then you can use these increments to move the head. So let's go on the X10. So if you press 10, we'll keep moving. So we know that right now it's a nice amount of drag. But, in my case when I got the printer, this head actually was way, way below the platform. In some rare cases, the print nozzle is actually lower than it's supposed to be. So follow me along and let me show you what I did. I couldn't figure out what to do until I got to this step here. Right here. There's this nut here that you tighten or loosen based on whether the bit is too high off the platform or too low. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go and press home. And then this will reset it. You see how it's perfect right now? But if it was too low or too high, you'd want to go around the printer and find this screw right here. Then they provide you with this little screwdriver and then we're gonna go here and then we're gonna turn this either clockwise or counterclockwise. Now it's gonna take some time because this screw originally starts up here. If it's too high, you wanna go clockwise. If it's too low, you wanna go counterclockwise. You won't know or see it move until it starts getting really tight. So you probably wanna have somebody watching the needle for you to make sure that it's actually going up or down. Once we have that, we wanna go and align the four edges with these nuts here. So right now, on this side, it's a perfect drag. So I wanna turn this off 
So we're going to go to setup, turn off the motor, and now we can move this manually. So now we are moving it all the way to the end, about here. Okay, the distance from here to here, we want the same as it was here. See, that's a little too hard now. That's good. You can feel free to grab this as long as the motor is off. Just gently move this over and then the head should ideally be the same here. That's good. Let's bring this guy forward. And we're at the end. There we go. And then the last one, it's a little high. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just test this one again here. Oh, this one's just a little high there. All right, I'm pretty happy. That's it for this video. As you can see, even a six-year-old can put together this Anycubic i3 Mega printer. Now at any time we can pause or stop, or if we run out of the filament, we can switch the roll and put a new one in. We will definitely be printing a whole lot of items on this channel and on Mad Artist Publishing. So make sure you head on over there because we're going to be printing some really, really neat stuff. While that's printing the first print of the SD card, I'm going to say for more videos, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Marcin, out. This just feels like something you would purchase at a store. We have just finished the very first print. What do you think? I was expecting it to be kind of rough. Any cubic i3 mega printer with an ultra base.